Hey, this is Onesto, and when I first got Arcade, I knew it had potential, but I wasn't really sure where to start or what to do with it. And if you're new to Arcade and feeling the same way, then you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I wish I would've known before I opened up this pretty incredible plugin. So let's start off talking about kits because kits is pretty much what Arcade is all about. You have two kinds of kits to play around with. You have a sampler kit and you have a notes kit. A sampler kit is a curated set of samples that are mapped across your MIDI keyboard. So let me just show you one. This is a drum breaks kit. This is one of my favorite ones to mess around with. All your Y keys are the samples. Output has done a really good job to making sure that you can really go from one note to another and it feels pretty seamless. And then you have your black keys here, which are modifiers. So I'll hold off this white key here, and I press, see how it starts to kind of get stretched. That kind of repeats. So as you mess around with Arcade, start off with just using the white keys only. Just kind of going from sample to sample, making like a little loop or a little fill or whatever you want to do with it. And if you want to get more advanced, more intermediate with it, then go ahead and bring in those black keys. Cool, let me show you another example from the hooked line. This line is all about vocal riffs, phrases, and vocal chops. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, so it's, you can already tell that it's really fun to play with to make these vocal chops. But let's say you're, you're you're working on a song and you know you may have started off in G minor right here. This is what this kit's in. But if you change the key or just want to use it for another song, you can click this little menu and click whatever key you want. You can go minor or major. So let's say I want to play in C sharp major for whatever reason. Click that. And now all the samples have been transposed. Baby, I can feel if you're gonna be Which is really, this makes it so flexible and easy and versatile to use. So as you're playing with it, and let's say you wanna get a bit more advanced with it, if you hover over a key, you either have these little three dots here, click it, hit edit, and you're brought to this advanced panel. And here is where you can get very uh, just deep and technical with it. All right, so we talked about sampler kits, and let's talk about note kits. Note kits are brand new to Arcade uh, 2.0. I'm loving these things so much. Pretty much a note kit is a layered instrument made of samples that you can play around with in Arcade. So here's an example from uh, the lead line. All right, let me show this other example I have here. This kit's called Listless. So when I first started playing it, I was like, oh wow, that's, that's a bit distorted. Maybe I might use it. But then I started messing around with these macros. And these macros are in sampler kits, they're in no kits. And I feel like the macros are very well designed, they're really thoughtful. So I bring up the space. So sorry, adding some interesting reverb to it. Let's see what movement does. Cool, definitely adding some movement. Air. Cool. Make it feel more airy. <laughs> Degrade. Yeah, so just by using these macros, you're able to change your note kits to sound completely different than when you first started using them. So please use these macros if you're a beginner. If you wanted to tweak it, you can click this tweak drop down menu and you're able to see how this instrument is created. We have two layers here. And let's say you want to add on another layer, like layer C here. I can just turn it on. Click this little wafer here and just pick something. Uh, let's try this one. You can download this sample here. All right, and now I can select it. Cool, now it's in there. Let's see how it sounds now. Still really loud. Cool, so I just made this, um, I just made this kit a bit more personalized by adding on this extra layer. And it was really easy to do. And, and as I've been like messing around with this, I I've, I've haven't come across like a bad sample where I'm like, oh, that really doesn't work. But in addition to adding your own samples, once again, this you can go really in depth with the stuff. Um, you have these other tabs for your mixers where you can add on different um, effects to each layer. Um, I'm not gonna talk through every single one of this because this is like an arcade for beginners, but once again, just know that this is here if you wanna dive even deeper into no kits. So hopefully learning more about the sampler and note kits has you really excited about uh, using Arcade. But the question still remains, how do you find the right kit? Fortunately, Arcade makes it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. So let's start off with uh, talking about the feed, which is the very first thing you'll see whenever you open up Arcade. Whenever you open up the feed, what you'll be seeing is what's new to Arcade. 
Uh, you'll have these little tabs here that you can look around with. And usually it's like a mix of tutorials and announcement videos that you can watch. And as you scroll down, you'll be getting a mix of what's new to Arcade. Um, and you just have a lot of curation for you. So top lines for you, just suggesting, hey, you might want to try these out based off your activity. And something to point out is that as you are sc scrolling through this, if you want to preview something, just click preview. Tell you what you want to hear. And if you're into it, you can click download and it'll download to your kit. Actually, let's hear this one real quick. All right, so let's say I like that one. I hit download. And after it's downloaded, you can hit play kit. And boom, you're right in there. You can just start having fun. Yeah, really uh, wonderful stuff. But now let me show you the tab where I think you'll be spending most of your time as a beginner, which is the lines tab. So in Arcade, there's thousands of kits. So to help organize it all, Arcade has all these kits split up into different lines. And every line is based off of a type of genre. Uh, maybe it's an instrument, maybe it's a purpose. And as a beginner, I think it's good to know that as you explore the lines, you'll be attracted to some way more than others. And I think that's totally fine because these kits can get really, really specific, really niche. And there might be some that just have nothing to do with the kind of Stuff you like to make. So output, they add new lines all throughout the year. So it can start to feel overwhelming after time. You'll get emails saying, hey, we have a new another line with like 50 more kits. And you're just like, whoa, 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 like chill out output. So what I recommend is to, uh, as you're a beginner, just spend, I don't know, an hour or two just going through each line, peeking in and seeing what each one sounds like. I, I did that on my own and it was really helpful because there was some in here that I probably never would have checked out if I didn't just spend the time to, to listen to them. And before I move on, if you're finding this video really helpful, please let me know by liking it. When you like this video, it really helps the channel a whole lot. And I would really appreciate it. Um, cool, that's enough begging. So now let's move on to the search tab. All right, so the search tab is a really great place to be if you have a clear idea of what you're searching for. And there's three ways to search. You can search in your sampler kits, no kits, and samples themselves. And for kits, it's pretty simple. You can just type in what you're looking for here, or you can use these filters to, to really help out. So let's say I wanted piano, picking my genre. Let's say I want indie function. I want it to be a melody. Like you can really get down to what you want it to be. I want it to be chill. And you can just kind of go through your results right here. Yeah, like that one sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah, I'll just download it because I want it. Okay, great. You can do the exact same kind of search in those kits by like going through instrument, genre, function, description, or you can type in something like guitar and see what happens. Cool, I have all these different note kits that I can explore and check out. And then when it comes to the samples, I'll always leave guitar in here. You'll notice that you have this keyboard. It pops up right down here. So what you're able to do is, let's say, Let's say I'm crazy about that <laughs> uh, sample. I can click this little download sign and then I can click and drag it onto this keyboard here. So in the Your Stuff tab, this is where you have the sampler kits that you've created, any note kits you may have made, um, and then any samples. And these aren't, these aren't samples from Arcade, these are samples that you drag in yourself. So let's say you have a Splice membership like most producers do. Let me open up a Splice here and then I think I, I think I want to use this vocal. So I click and then I drag it to the DAW. Great, I can drop it in here. Boom, all right, so now that's in here. Don't leave me hanging, I need you now. Cool, but you'll notice here that there's something called Generate Kit. This is one of my favorite features, um, like of all of Arcade probably. What I love is that you can drag in any sample into Arcade, click Generate Kit, and what it's gonna do is slice up your audio. And so to slice, slice it up based off of a few different um, algorithms. So the first one is just a standard. So now it sounds like this. I need you. Yeah, so suddenly it has made this one cool little vocal. Um, it wasn't even a vocal chop, it was just a vocal from Splice. And now, now I can use it um, as an instrument, as this cool like sample machine thing. And then what you'll see here is that you have different effects presets. I'll use a modern lift because it has some cool reverb to it. I need, I need, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, these are just some effects that I like. And then you can kind of explore whatever you like there. And then once you're done, you can rename it to something that you that might be more easy to remember or just click save and play. And it is saved here. And it will also be in your sampler kits right here.
And the more you use Arcade, you'll start to see that this isn't just a bunch of samples you can download. This is an instrument. And like with any instrument, it's going to require a lot of practice, a lot of ex experimentation and failing with it, and just time to get better at it. And if you're enjoying what you're learning, please like and subscribe. It'll help other music makers find this channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later.